Shalom, my friends, and welcome to From the Armory, where we search for words that we can use as weapons in the struggles of life. Today, I want to take a look at these two books, one by both Duane and Nancy McKendry. This book here is called The Body Temple, and one called They Called Him White Chocolate by Nancy Carol McKendry. This book here, it describes how we can see wisdom in an intelligent design, and not only an intelligent design, but a meaningful design in the human body. The back of the book here reads, From the beginning of time, mankind has searched the heavens to solve mysteries that would explain their existence on this unique blue planet. Huge telescopes have been developed that reveal some amazing intricacies of the universe. The doctors McKendry turn these telescopes into microscopes. The doctors reveal a unique way how God has placed within every system of the body, every organ, and every microscopic cell, a revelation of his plan of salvation. The story of redemption is told in the masterwork of God as we search the universe within the human body sanctuary. As God revealed himself in the symbols found in the heavenly and earthly sanctuary, he reveals himself again in the construction and workings of the body temple. God illumines his character of goodness, grace, mercy, and love in the microcosm of this unique evidence, anatomy and physiology. God has made manifest his masterpiece. So this is from the brother and sister here, Duane and Nancy McKendry, and as doctors they explored the human body, things like muscles and uh, how, they, how the body relates to the 12 tribes, and goes into blood, hearing loss, the nervous system, the skeletal system, and we can see that this is like a big encyclopedia of how all of it is related to our intelligent designer. And there's some beautiful um, illustrations here that's showing the uh, brain as compared to the sanctuary and the uh, different senses. It's a, a really fascinating book and the degree to which I've explored it so far has been really exciting and I look forward to having more leisure time to look over it more. But this is not the only book that the um, that comes from from Duane and Nancy, Nancy herself. Uh, took the testimony of a certain gentleman who was a missionary and he um, I think he permitted her to go ahead and compile it and in this book it reads they called him white chocolate they were the black transient society who lived on the streets and back alleys with Jim in Raleigh and Jonesboro, North Carolina. They took care of one another. They had each other's backs because they were the outcast, the dispensable, and displaced. Forgotten, living in the asphalt jungle. They lived and existed any way they could. They were even today, there are even today, there were and even are today, pimps, prostitutes, drug and alcohol addicts, homeless, and mentally ill, impaired. And they fall through the cracks of an unjust society. These throwaways of refined society loved Jim and gave him a sense of belonging. They helped Jim crawl out of the pit of hopelessness and ultimately into the unity and happiness with the family of God. So this is Jim's true story, and this is uh, written, compiled by his sister. And uh, we have some powerful stories in this book and I am curious to dig into it myself. It's got lots of different pictures from the history related to the events and it's quite large print so it's very it's a pretty short book um, but you need not have a long book to be powerful so th here are two interesting books that we have along with the library of uh, Bible Bibles above me, above me here, and then Spirit of Prophecy books as well. If you are interested in either of these books, please do not hesitate to call us. We have a new phone number. It will be in the description, hopefully, and in the end of the video. 
So, thank you for watching, and shalom, my friends.